Hello, uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to use new Refire Fragmenter modifier. So all you need to do is just assign it to an object uh, and hit Fragment button, this big button. As you can see, object is already fragmented. Uh, also you can increase the amount of fragments here and count property. And as you can see, it uh, refragmented almost instantly. Totally in real time. So this green dot represents a uh, point cloud. As you can see where is the green dot, there is a center of fragment. And you can turn off this point cloud using the show point. If you don't want to see this, I'll keep it for now. Okay, next property is uh, seed. So if for some reason you don't like your fragmentation pattern, you can change the seed. Uh, changing uh, changing uh, uh, fragmentation type you will get different patterns like this Gaussian as you can see each fragmentation type has its own allowed so you can increase it and get results almost instantly here is the radial fragmentation type increase radius rings Raise, change ring bias, add some divergence to add some noise. Another one is cubic. It generates point cloud in some kind of cubic. Uh, as you can see, there's the same divergence properties and the spherical. It is the same, but it generates points inside the sphere. Okay, I will set to uniform for now. Uh, also, want to say that um, as you can see, that there is a crack white property, so you can add some cracks in your fragments. Uh, another nice feature in this modifier is that you can assign your own material. As you can see right now, it's assigned this gray material to this object. And if you want to add some uh, different material to interface, you can do this here. Just click on None button and select the sample slots material you want. I will pick this checker material. So I will increase this quick white to see it better in your material. And as you can see, here is this checker, green and uh, red and black. Uh, changing UV scale properties, you can change it. Scale. Uh, another nice uh, uh, feature is that you can detach all fragments using this detach button. But before do this, uh, uh, if you want to keep your original not detached object you need to pick this preserve original checkbox so in this case if you will hit detach you can move this object apart and here you here you can find your fragments so using this different seed you can like uh, changing seed hit detach move further change the third Hit touch again. So in this way you can get a bunch of different fragments in a second. Also want to mention that this uh, modifier is totally multi-threaded. Like if I will, so this is, I have eight cores. And if I will set some large amount of count, like 2000, as you can see, all 8 cores was involved.
So here's one object with two balance elements. There's a nice feature in this very fire fragmenter modifier is that you can move your point cloud going to this very fire fragmenter sub object point cloud mode you can just simply move it and get different fragmentations and better to do this in local mode You can rotate, scale, and move. Also, you can add one fragment of tomb of another. So, if I will have one with fire fragmenter with such with only 20 count I can add another one change C to get different point cloud increase count amount and uh, apply another one so now as you can see there is a totally random pattern so I can tune off this one or this one and if I will detach fragments now As you can see, I'm getting completely different fragments. Not like if I will use only one fragmentation, or only one of the five fragmenter. Also, it's possible to fragment only elements. Like if I will have, like if I have uh, one ray five fragmenter, I can add edit poly. Go to element level, like only select only half of these elements and add another five fragmenter. Uh, increase count amount. So if I will hit fragment now, as you can see it fragments only selected elements. Like I can go to this other level, reselect or deselect some other elements, show on fragmenter, and uh, it will fragment only this selected element. And in the same way, I can do this more and more, like selecting only these elements, add another one fragmenter. Maybe in this way, in this case, I will decide to use uh, radial one. Go to point cloud mode. Go to here. Increase radius. Fragment. Maybe some divergence or. Around this one. And add another poly. Select here. Add another fragmenter with radial fragmentation type. Go to sub object level. Move it here. Increase radius. Hit fragment. Add edit poly. Select here, add ray fire fragmenter, and I think you get how it works. So at the end, you're getting just one object with a lot of elements, and uh, if you want to get different fragments, all you need to do is just hit detach. Keep in mind if this checkbox is off, you will lose your original object. So here's my object with about uh, 
400 uh, elements, fragments, I mean. And uh, the last feature is for more advanced users. I want to show um, how to use this uh, custom the point cloud generation type. Uh, using custom uh, point cloud, you can uh, generate your own point cloud and assign it to a refire fragmenter. And to do this, you need to have some basic skills using MaxScript. And I uh, will show you how to do this. So, in this case, I have this uh, helper. I will put it here. Uh, so uh, first uh, thing, what I do in what I'm do in MaxScript is I'm declaring this box. I'm assign this node variable to this node, and I assign this help variable to this helper. Next, what I'm doing is I'm generating point cloud. In this case, I'm generating thirty points. And I'm generating. I'm taking uh, randomly from uh, this helper size, from this mi its minimum to its maximum. So it will generate 30 points inside the volume of this helper. Okay, I'm get, uh, I generated them uh, and assigned to this PC variable. Uh, next thing, what I'm doing is I'm declaring the Rayfi fragmenter variable fr. In this case, you need to use count property with amount of point clouds. This it will be 30. You need to use show cloud off and distribution 9, which is uh, custom, which means custom uh, generation type. Uh, and preview off. So I'm declaring it. Now I'm adding this modifier to this. This modifier fr to node. Here this fragmenter. As you can see, it has 30 count. And next thing you should do is to convert this point plan from world space to this object local space. Uh, and you need to use this node node reifier fragmenter set cloud function. I will increase it. Okay, the set cloud. And next uh, first. Uh, Variable in this function should be the object variable and uh, the point cloud. Here I assign it. If I will turn on show points, as you can see, there's a 30 points which are in this helper's object volume. And last thing I should I need to do is turn on segment button. So as you can see, I generated my own custom point cloud and if you have some basics some basic max suite uh, uh, knowledge you can generate your own point cloud in any way you want